Yesterday, a video released of a bishop from Mississippi resigning from the pulpit in a sacrament meeting. The entire video is just under eight minutes, and I wanted to share some of it here. I've, been, I've asked to be released. Not because of some sin. Not because I'm hiding something. Not at all. There's just a few things that I've been required to do that I personally cannot morally stand by. I can't. So I need to step down for me and my family's well-being. It's not been easy. But I, I feel in many ways I'm failing the word. I know this is hard, I understand. But I have to be, I have to be true to my feelings. I've been angry. Every Sunday people look at me and they're like, man, Bishop, something wrong. I can't do that to you. I won't. that turns to anger and bitterness and malevolence. I've got written down a few things if it's okay if I could just share my thoughts. Sometimes due to church culture, we feel that we're not supposed to turn down or step away from a calling. I wish I had known it was okay to say to myself, I'm not okay. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. To seek excellence is important. It's my life, I seek excellence. More, doing more, it's being successful. It's so much more important to know that you're okay, and I haven't been okay. This calling, guys, it is so hard. You have to keep everything to yourself. And it builds up. And it is exhausting. And it's, it has broken me. I didn't have good parents. I wish you would have told me I was enough. But never have. That whether I had worth or not wasn't contingent on how I act. We are not loved for what we do or what we are going to do. We are loved for who we are. Not an expectation, but who we are. And to feel love for, you, for who you are is the most sacred kind of love. It's a gift that we have the opportunity to give to ourselves. If I could just say one more thing towards the youth, because they are the reason I've stayed as long as I have. I love them. If there's ever injustice in the world, young men, young women, if there's ever injustice in the world, fight it. If there's ever a bully, somewhere stand up to it. And if you have ever, if you ever have something to say, say it. Just say it. Don't fear. Get rid of fear. And if you don't have any, and if you don't want to do that, that's okay. You're still enough. Instead of judgment, choose compassion. Instead of division, see everyone as you living a different life. And remember, maybe I'll say it like Alma, and remember, remember, if you're enough, everyone else is too. You are redeemed. You are always forgiven. No matter what. Jesus was a man who came to know the Christ. Seek Christ. Seek only Christ. I realize a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions. I do. Join the club. So do we. This has not been easy for my family. This has not been easy at all. It hasn't been easy for anybody. And this is not going to continue to be easy. But we want you to know that we love you. I know that when this video was first published, it was quickly taken down because it started to go viral. But after receiving messages of love and admiration and encouragement and messages of courage, the brother of this former bishop reposted this video. I don't know what this bishop has gone through. I don't know what his relationship is with the church, but I'm proud of people like him who stand up against bullies and injustices, even when that injustice is coming from the church organization that they belong to. It shows a very high form of bravery and integrity, and I admire this man for speaking up.